Hey there, so today, tonight, um, I just wanted to um, tell you about a little fun trick. I have now pretty much gotten um, the hang of, and I just wanted to share it with you guys tonight. So, um, my name is Heather Wickstrom, and I'm a sales director in Mansfield, Texas. So, I have been struggling. A couple of years ago, I found this app that allowed us to post to our regular timelines on Facebook. And then when Facebook made all those changes, eh, they took that away. So what I found, um, I've been kind of using it here and there and you know, it's been fine, but I discovered that you can go back now and you can link up several of your social media platforms into one post and then you can kind of use a backdoor way to to put it on your timeline. So I'm going to share that with you today. And so um, the the app is called Buffer, B-U-F-F-E-R. And so you can um, you can go um, if you search, uh, you know, www.buffer.com, I think it is. Let's see. Yep, you can get started. You can um, don't do the business one. You're going to want to do the free one. And so you get started now, and then it's going to ask you if you want to attach it to your, um, sorry, my cat is climbing in a purse. Um, it's going to ask you if you want to attach it to ex do a Chrome bar extension. I do Chrome, so if you, it's going to ask if you want to do an extension. And I did. So now it has um, it has these, this little buffer, and it's what it looks like is a bunch of squares stacked, so it looks like almost paper that's stacked together. So um, what you're gonna do, I'm gonna um, tell you how to access it. So once you get it loaded in, and you're gonna probably have to Google it to figure out how to do it if you don't know how, but um, it's it's gonna ask you if you want, it's gonna ask you if you want to attach it to your Chrome bar, and just say yes. Um, so then you can go up to your Chrome bar and you can look at the top after your, um, your, your I don't even know the terminology, oh, it's so funny, but um, where, you, where you type in all your stuff, your HTTP line. Okay, so it's going to have an attachment. So I have like Pinterest and Amazon and Grammarly. And um, now I, and I have Honey. Um, I love Honey. If you don't know what Honey is, let me know and I'll send you a link for Honey. It's great. Um, save you a bunch of money. But um, Buffer, okay? And then you can also download it to your phone. And so what it looks like on your phone is it, I mean, what it looks like, is well that's product ha ah, settings huh ah, doesn't matter anyway it you can load it onto your phone so you can do it so here's the thing let me give you a couple of little quick tips here so once you get an account you can link up your facebook business page your instagram personal page and your facebook private vip group Okay, then um, once you get to the home, when you get to the home screen of that and you have all of those set up, then it's going to ask you, what would you like to share? And it will, um, you're going to want to go to in touch. This is what I like. Um, I like that all the work has been done for us. So you're going to go to in touch and then you're going to type in, in the search engine, you're going to type in social publisher because I don't know where it is in the tree and then it says Mary Kay um, social publisher and you click on that and then it says in the middle it, it has a video of pre-approved social media post and it says get started and so you click on that and then it's going to ask you um, well it's going to show you a bunch of posts that are already pre-loaded and pre-formatted okay so then you just have to download the picture and you can use their words. Isn't that great? So you can use their words. So um, what's great about this is that you can take about 20 minutes um, at the beginning of a week and you can upload like 10 posts and then that'll take care of 10 days and then you can do 10 more posts. I don't know that I would do any more than that on any of my social media platforms because I don't want to be tied to social media. Our, our goal is to get, get in front of people. 
And that's where we are at our best. Um, or you need that connection. You really need that connection. And that's what was Mary Kay's dream. So, um, all right. So then you can just, you know, use some of these posts and you can just put them in your buffer. Okay. So here's the great thing. Okay. So it has, what would you like to share? <clears throat> so when you do that, when you open up that window, <coughs> um, you have to, there's uh, like on mine, it has three different, three different things. So it says, um, you're going to make sure that all three of them are highlighted. Okay. So that whatever you post will go into the queue. Okay. And then you can customize for each of the networks. <clears throat> so you can look at the settings and I mean, if you look at settings and then underneath settings, it says posting schedule. You can post seven days a week and you can do it random times. So you can post anything you want. And this is going to take care of all of your Mary Kay business. So you can still, you know, post things about, you know, your life and your kids and, you know, all the fun stuff that we love to, you know, we love to do. But this will also help your customers be, be, um, shown a new product or shown something new or, um, you know, something like that. So what's great is, um, okay, so here's, here's the thing. So you add your posting time. I would just do once a day. I mean, honestly, I would just do once a day. Um, and so you want to make sure your time zone is set, um, to the correct time zone. And then, um, you know, make sure you have all of your posting times in there. Now I have all of mine posting times before noon every day. Okay. And so then um, you're going to look at the queue and you're going to um, post whatever it is. So if you are on the, like if you were going to do the 30 day Mary Kay challenge on social media, which there's another one coming. So you'll be like way ahead of the game. Um, so if you go to the post and you look, you just want to copy paste um, the words and then you're going to just save the picture to your computer. Okay. And then you're going to upload it. So you can use um, even more pictures off of our personal websites and you can use the words off of the personal website. So if there's a product, maybe you're overstocked in something and you need to move it. Um, maybe you just want to highlight what the, the product features are. And, you know, foundation primer, you want to use a foundation primer, a stock photo from Mary Kay, and then you're going to use the words from Mary Kay's website. So you just go to your website, steal the words of whatever it is that foundation primer does, maybe use a couple of buzzwords. What I found is that you really want to use like third grade language with people. So, you know, two or three sentences is going to be enough and you want to use hashtags. Um... Now you do not what you're going to post this onto your, like if you're going to post it onto your Mary Kay Facebook page, you can put your website, but you don't really want to, you don't really need to do that on the other, on the other things. Okay. Because your website's like in your profile. So you don't even need to do that. Um, plus you want to keep the algorithm high. So, you know, you want to do fun hashtags. Um, and so this also, it's going to free up so much time. You have no idea. Okay. So then what it's going to also do is if you, what I love about this, this is your back, this is your back door. Okay. So what you're going to love about this is if you, um, it will not automatically post to Instagram. It's going to send you an alert. So once you open up your Instagram account, um, and I highly recommend if you don't have Instagram, you know, get an Instagram account, but I don't turn y'all. I don't have any notifications on, like I get no notifications. Um, from any of my social media stuff. So I have notifications on for Buffer. And so um, if you go to my Instagram account, um, M-A-K-U-O-V-R, it's, um, it's uh, you'll see I've already posted a couple um, this week, but then I post, posted today, I posted about my cat and all kinds of fun stuff. So, um, all right, so when you go in, it's gonna send you a reminder and it's gonna say, um, it's gonna open it up and then it's gonna automatically copy. If you say, yes, I wanna post, it's gonna automatically copy all of the words that you have saved and the picture, it's gonna upload that into Instagram, but you actually have to uh, like hit the send button, okay? 
But right before you hit the send button, um, anything that you post, if you look, it's going to say, I'll show you, like here, okay? So if I wanted to post this picture, it says Facebook, Twitter, and Tumblr. I don't even know what Tumblr is, y'all. But like Twitter, so Facebook is open and then Twitter is open. So you want to move the arrow bars over, the little, you want to slide them over. That means it's going to automatically post on your timeline. Isn't that crazy? So everything that you're going to have on there is going to post onto your timeline. That's the workaround. So that's how you can literally post. Oops, I didn't want to post that. I'm deleting that post. I did not want to post that. Delete, delete, delete. Um you're going to automatically post to five, five platforms all at one time and it's all free. Okay. It's a matter of just deciding what post do you want to post. And then if you want to on your, um, on your Facebook business page, and this is the only reason why I really use my Facebook business page. If you want to on your Facebook business page, you can just put your, or you can do it on any of them. Really. You can just put your website in the comments, but you don't really need to, you know, um, you know, people, people will know, and you want to make sure like you have your website in, in your, in your bio, or, um, maybe not, maybe you don't need your website in your bio. Hmm, who knows? But I mean, you know, you want to strike up conversation, but this is going to be for people that are already following you or liking you or your friends. And what I like is I posted it to my um, I posted about the biocellulose masks yesterday in my private Facebook group because it automatically posted and I sold a pack. So, I mean, you know, that was $70. That was awesome. So just kind of just that is going to help, but you've got to master something. It, it, you know, you've got to play with it. And I learn by just kind of playing with things and I'm kind of a language guru. So you want to, um, you just, you don't want to be obnoxious, I know, and and we all don't want to be sold on anything. But, you know, if you can get a few things just liked and interested, like people interested in a couple of things, they'll take you more seriously than if you just don't do anything and then you disappear. So, you know, and then you won't have to worry about people going, hey, you still doing that, that you know, Mary Kay thing? And you're going to be like, uh, duh, you know, have you seen the pink car? But anyway... So that's this kind of the shortcut. I hope that helps. Um, I'll put the link um, in the comment section of this video. And, you know, this is just another great way to utilize uh, social media without being bogged down and, and trying to, you know, come up with what am I going to post? Why not just use something that the company's already posted? And then when they come out with the new challenge or any new challenge in a quarter or whatever, you're going to be that more ahead because you're going to already know how to do it. And so you're going to have an edge. So I hope that helps. You guys have a great day.